Hi honeys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Stephanie Chooks, you already know. I'm here again with another hair tutorial. I'm here to show you guys how I achieve this fringe bob look. Oh, I can feel it myself. I really, really like it. And if you like to see how I achieve this, stay tuned. Let's jump into this video. Mwah. The hair I'm using it today is from Max Stress Hair and I'm using their bob wig in the length 14 inches and this hair is super soft guys it comes with three or four combs actually and adjustable straps at the back so it fits perfectly to your head and it's easy for you to adjust um the first thing i'm gonna do is to bleach the frontal because i just i'm a perfectionist but this step is not needed since we're going to be doing the fringe but if you want to go the extra mile just go ahead and bleach your frontal wrap it up in a foil paper and let it sit till it's ready after it's all dry the first thing i'm going to do is actually straighten the hair you want to straighten the hair because you're going to be cutting and you want to make sure you know the actual length of where you want the hair to stop so you're going to straighten it all out for you to get that i applied some coconut oil to kind of revitalize the hair after i kind of washed shampooed and conditioned it so yeah just go ahead and straighten your hair and this hair is super easy to straighten guys it was just done in minutes to be honest after that i did an optional step to separate out my fringe this you can do at the end but i just kind of tucked that away the next step after that is the cutting and this is obviously the most important step the first thing i did was do like a long longer cut from what um, since I know I was going to do this shorter before measuring out by putting the wig on my head to know the length I wanted to get and doing a more defined cut to the length I, of what I wanted it to be. And I'll also kind of separate out the layers or the tracks of the hair so I can thin it out. So just by turning your scissors in a vertical way and kind of just cutting the ends, it kind of helps thin out the end so it's not too thick or too full. So this part you have to be very um, patient because it's going to take a long time to get, but you want to make sure you do this right. So take your time, cut it, thin it, put it on you, make sure you get the exact length you want, um, go over it, over over and over again before um, kind of finalizing and straightening or putting in your bobs. After I was satisfied with the length of the hair, I went ahead with my flat iron to bob the hair. And basically, it's almost like straightening the hair, but at the end, you just kind of cuff your iron to make sure it gives it that bump. Um, so you can do this to basically the desired length or kind of style you want it to do. You, you can basically play with this part. So it's up to you if you want an extra kind of bobby and bouncy or you just want a very light soft curve at the edge of it. No hard rules, just whatever you like, whatever you think fits you. Okay? Yeah, so yeah, so we're already halfway done basically. You see how easy this is? The cotton is the main thing. Basically, you're basically almost done. The next thing is to cut off the lace. This you can do at the beginning, but I just kind of waited to this step so I could cut it to um, kind of have the path pattern of my, my hairline. So go ahead and cut off your lace and you want to start playing with your fringe and doing the cutting of that piece to get it to the desired um, style you want it to do. For the fringe you want to be extremely careful so you don't cut it too short um it's better you start cutting long so i'm just gonna twist my fringe and cut it below my eyes obviously you know that is extra long but you rather have it longer because when you cut the fringe too short there's nothing else you can do about it but from long you can kind of trim it and cut it to the desired length you want even if it's too long and you can kind of play around with it you have that leeway so if you feel it's too scanty go ahead and add extra kind of from this side um but how i kind of took the measurement of this fringe is just kind of uh measuring between my eyebrows like mid mid eyebrows from one eyebrow to the other that was kind of how i went where, where i wanted my fringe to stop so that i just took the hair from the center of my forehead 
there between my eyebrows between the midpoint of my eyebrow I hope that makes sense but like the midpoint of my eyebrows and twisted the hair and cut it below my eyes and then now it's time to trim it the first thing is to kind of give it that bump because when you bump your fringe it's going to be shorter than normal so you want to bump it up uh, before you cut to get the exact length of what you want it to be and for you to start trimming we're just going to start thinning the ends you walk from the bottom up trim the ends like I said turning the, uh, the scissors vertically and just cutting um, cutting the ends that will make it shorter and will also thin the ends of the fringe so it's not too thick um, we're trying to achieve a very wispy scanty looking fringe not too full but not too scanty at the same time so this part you have to be very patient too. it took a lot of time uh, but you know if you get it done well it kind of makes a difference of how your hair turns out so take your time keep cutting going over it um, we're gonna leave the ends the hair at the end of the fringe a little longer than the midpoint um, that's gonna be above my eye so you can see as I'm trimming it I keep leaving that part out because I want it longer than the ones in the middle so I just I just kept on going over this um, till I felt I was satisfied with how it looks like I said you don't you don't have there's no hard rule so you can always play around with how you want your fringe to look if you want it thick depending on how you feel you know if you're comfortable with with it you just have to play around with it until you are satisfied so one thing I'll say here is that which I didn't do at the beginning was um, glue down my wig using got to be glued and you see i went over that in basically the next clip but i should have done that first so that my hair doesn't move so it stays put but i'll get that done So yes, after um, kind of cutting my fringe, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be gluing down my wig now. You can do this step before you start cutting your fringe, but it's also fine after if you feel like you can get it done with your move, move uh, with your wig moving around. But I'm just gonna apply some got to be glued. Let me tell you, I still love got to be glued. A lot of people have kind of changed the way they glue their wigs, but to be honest, this one is still working for me, so I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with you forever till I find something better but for now um, it's just gonna be me and got to be good so yes um, I'm just gonna go ahead put it around the peri perimeter of my hair where I want the wig to stay and then I'll be blow drying it on cool um, for it to stay it dries very fast your wig is secure and you know so just get that done So after I'm done gluing down my wig, I'm going to go ahead and just um, bump it up again because obviously the blow drying uh, kind of made it a little bit looser than I wanted it to be. So if you did the step after, if you did the step like I did it, you can probably just add a little bump to make it um, more bouncy. But if not, I don't think you have to worry about that. So you can just skip the steps. Skip this step. Ooh, I can't speak today. But you can just skip this step. 
moving on i used the flat comb um a hot comb to make it flat and it just went over the top of the hair and now i will be giving my bump uh my fringe its final um a kind of bump to get it to stay the way i want it to be um you just kind of go over this to how you want it to look so i'm trying to achieve uh uh, what's the word? I'll just say like a, a, a light bump, not too curved. So you see me going over this again. Right now it's a little bit too curved, but I'm going to go over this like twice, three times or so to get it a little bit flatter than it is now. And as you do this, you just you can do it to the frame of your face. Like not everyone's fringe should look the same. Not everyone's uh, bob should look the same. So you can just keep going over this to how you want it to be. Now you've, per you've cut it perfectly. It's good. You just got to style it to your face. Okay. Structure it to fit your frame. Don't let nobody tell you you cannot play with your fringe. Because you can. So yes, honeys, y'all did it. We're at the end of the video and my friend is popping, my hair is popping, everything is, you know, sitting right. And because I put down the, uh, my, because I glued down my wig, I can kind of throw some hair back behind my ear and bring one hair down close to the ear, which is kind of cute. Feeling myself, everything is looking good. Let me know what you think. If you do recreate this hair, tag me, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and on Snapchat. Everything is gonna be down below. But yes, let's rock this ring still. Get da. Let me know guys what you guys think. Make sure you like, subscribe, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Love you all so much and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.